What's up, people, man? It's your boy, Spaces. And today, man, I'm going to do a real quick test on something that was released with Fender Studio Pro, and it sparked my interest. That is the Extract Notes and the Extract Drums, and I want to test it to see how good it really is. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I got just some samples that I pulled in from Splice, which I think is just still just amazing that they have this in here. Uh, and uh, the first one is very melodic, right? So... All right, and so what I did was I set this up to a um, short a keyboard shortcut. So I'm just command. Uh, this is convert to notes, extract to notes, and I want to. Wow, bro! Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, so. Let's see how close it got. That's pretty close. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. That's pretty close. So let's let's add like um. Let's replace this. I, I want to hear what this sound like in real life. Let's do a uh. Let's add like a synth pad. Just go with that one. And so. Ah, uh, that was pitch crazy. Let's do another one. Uh, let's go with that one. That is crazy. Oh man, that just opened up a whole nother world. Oh man, oh man, that's crazy. Let's do um, let's do this one. This was more of a simpler one. This one. <laughs> Yo. Yo. So it's catch like this one has like an effect on it, so I can understand why it's doing those other little bounces. But man, that is pretty freaking close, bro. Yo, that's that's insane. So let's try this one. This is the drum one, and basically this is just a hi hat. So let's see what this does. Oh, hold on. Let's do. Uh... Uh, where's the hi hat? So we're gonna move all this to F sharp one. And so we just highlight this. If you don't know how to do this, you could basically highlight it and just go down. And that's where I go. See how close it got. That's pretty close because basically it's reading the the actual the hi hat and not the open hi hat. So you got the triplet at the beginning, but it's catching pretty much everything else as a as a uh, as a wave. That's pretty insane. That is going to open up so much in the production world. If you're using this and you're using loops and maybe the loop don't sound exactly how you want it to sound, you could use this and really get really close to what that loop sound like. I don't know what this, I would never do it. It's like a full loop, but I'm saying like an instrument loop. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Fender really did it with that one. That's a really good idea there. 
that's one to be on the lookout for, for sure. Um, we're going to be testing some of these other things that they got that, that has been added newly. That is impressive. That's impressive. I really, really like that. So I just wanted to do a quick little video, quick little test to see what, it's, what it would do. I'm going to be pushing this a little bit further. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel, man. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you are, have that bell notification going so you'll get all of the videos that are uploaded and make sure you go join the school community for free where we are learning to do music and create music with AI alongside AI and creating content with AI. And so if you want to learn that, click the link in the description, go to the school community. It's free to join. And I'll see y'all over there. See y'all in the next video. Stay very close because we're going to be testing out some more stuff. Peace out.